Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit like, um, about my reflections of 2019 and my resolutions for 2020. Reflecting back on 2019 is super hard for me. It was one of the best and one of the worst years of my entire life. I have overcome so much and I've learned so much about myself and I feel like I'm coming into 2020 as like a completely different person which um is kind of crazy to say but like that's how I feel. I make it no secret that I regularly go to therapy. But around May I started with a new med doctor which basically like He's the doctor that prescribes me my medicine when it comes to like my mental health. I have severe anxiety like and change like freaks me out. So having that change of going from like a med doctor that I really really liked to like a new med doctor like I didn't know and he was like he's a man. So like I'm not I've never really been comfortable like talking to men about my feelings like it's hard for me to talk to women about my feelings but men even more so. To have to adjust to a new doctor and rehash like everything that I had talked about during therapy like over <laughs> the five years I've been going was like it was super hard because it was like it was bringing it all up again and it was like opening up a wound that was that was healing that was like it was getting there. I also went through a lot of like personal struggles with my family and my friends and those things have definitely changed me. I feel like I grew up a lot in 2019. The past decade I would say I have found myself in so many toxic situations like that I didn't feel like I had a choice to leave like I felt like I was stuck in these toxic situations. I've had to like face these situations and these people and it did a lot of harm to my mental health. 2019 has definitely taught me to be more selfish when it comes when it comes to doing what's best for me. I get to choose who I keep in my life and who I distance myself from. I've definitely had to distance myself from a few toxic people in order for me to continue healing. I've learned to stand up for myself, which is crazy because I've never been one to stand up for myself. I have always like let people walk all over me. And like so learning how to stand up for myself and standing up for things that I feel are right has been crazy to me to be quite honest you know and I never realized it but I was letting my anxiety control me instead of me controlling it I, I constantly suffer from low self-esteem and my confidence level has always been like really really low and this has to do with my depression my anxiety and my brain like messing with me and making me like feel like I can't do things and that has been like a really hard struggle for me throughout the years um, is letting my brain kind of you know like in a way like made me like a recluse um, and I think I think I finally started to realize that. Um, and after a change in my medication in May of 2019, and thanks to my new doctor, my anxiety levels have like dramatically gone down. Like things that I couldn't do before that like I would have panic attacks about, I'm now doing with little to no panic, little to no anxiety. Um, which is something like I never thought I could do. Like, I'm obviously still not the most confident person, and that's gonna be something that like I have to work on my entire life. 
but I can stand up in front of people and not feel like I'm gonna pass out, not feel like I'm gonna throw up, and be, you know, just fine. When I went to see my doctor in December, he could not believe, like, the progress that I've made in, you know, like, the few, the seven months that I had been seeing him. I had been on the same medication since I started therapy in 2014, and I thought it was working, but after the change in medication, like, I realized that if this little change had come sooner, that, you know, I could be like a whole different person by now but like I'm glad that even if it took a while we are starting with you know the steps to you know to better me. I am going into 2020 with a new perspective. Um, I want to continue growing my confidence and expanding my comfort zone. I'm going my goal my like my new year's resolution and I don't usually do those but I was like you know what I feel like this year I can you know come through with one and I'm finally going to get my driver's license um I will tell you guys a story about it later on it'll be on my channel um of why I don't have my driver's license and I pl I plan on finally making something of my youtube channel like and up until now it's just been like a video here and there like but I actually want to like start uploading every week or bi-weekly whatever like I can end up doing um there are gonna be some weeks where like it's gonna be crazy busy I'm not gonna be able to film a video I feel like for me those are the two biggest things that are holding me back right now is you know my anxiety when it comes to driving and then my insecurities with my YouTube channel um, so those are the two things that like I'm really gonna focus on this year and yeah that's my 2020 New Year's resolution and that little reflection on 2019 thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you come back next week for the next upload bye